So uh, when I was a kid, I had a dream that I want to become a sports player. And I chose tennis as my career because I was very much fascinated about that, the royal game. Uh, I joined a pretty good academy, Rafael Nadal's academy, and I was playing very well. You can see that the person who is playing opposite to Rafael Nadal, that's, that's me actually. In just a span of six to seven months, I bagged so many awards, I won so many tournaments, and I got a, so many very good compliments. Like one of my Spanish, Spanish coach, he took one of his t-shirt and he said, Samir, you are the best player in Rafael Nadal's academy. Everything was going fine. I was a state player and I was about to become national player. But suddenly, the old tradition came into the picture. You know, right, in India, education is a first priority. No matter what you like or dislike, you have to make education as your career. The same thing happened with me. And at one particular position, I was like, can I really do this? And that one particular question, can I, shook everything off. And you know what happened? I quit tennis. I gave up on my dream. It was a disastrous, like I felt very bad about it. And okay, fine, I just moved on with that. Okay, next time I should not do this. And I completed my intermediate, tenth, intermediate. I went to a pretty good college, Madanpalli Institute of Technology and Science. When I entered into the college, again, I observed the same mentality in the students. Everybody was behind marks, grades, everyone wants job in their hand. So I made up my mind that I have to change my college. And I got a bunch of my friends who had the same ideology, and we started working on that. Initially, believe me, it was very hard. We faced so many failures, and upon that, so many students started laughing at us, criticizing, mocking, saying that you can't do it, you can't do it, you can't do it, and you won't get any job or something. But we stick to our ground. We were like, this time, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to give this up. And you know what? If you truly desire something from your heart, then the whole universe conspires to make that happen for you. It's damn true, guys. That's the same thing happened with us. At that particular moment, we were really in need of some guidance. And UIF came into the picture. They came into our life. Each and every assignment, what we were doing, it was like a ray of hope for us. We were like, this is what we are badly in need of. And we did everything. We went to Stanford. We got so much exposure. And again, we got a question like, what's next? Because we'll come back to our college. We'll implement everything. Everything will be fine. Because if you do a work, it just gets completed. But if you want to carry on that work, then you should do that work by inspiring others. That's the most important thing. So when we came back to our college, we started doing campaigns, doing workshops. I mean, we literally went to each and every class and we started explaining the importance of UIF, how students will get benefited with that. And you know what, what happened? The guys who used to mock us initially, they came to us and they said, guys, we want to join you. And that was a moment of pride for us. Nothing made us happy, but that one statement made our day. We want to join you. And with the same passion, we also proved ourselves. Each and every member from our team, we have 85% in our academics. We have multiple job offer letters in our hand. Because nothing is possible if you don't believe in it. Everything is possible if you truly believe in it. And we did it. And you know what? There are so many people out there who says that you can't do anything. The only thing what you have to do is just turn around and tell them, watch me and do it. That is the biggest and the strongest reply what you can get. And with the same thing, I have a small challenge for you. How might we inspire our peers and make their ideology change from can I to I can? And I hope that we'll make it. No, I believe that we'll make it. Thank you.